So instead of saying what I normally would, for some reason, it is not starting on YouTube. Okay, now I see the numbers. So it's starting on YouTube. That was weird. There was some kind of delay. So I appreciate those of you that were hanging out waiting on the stream to start. For those of you watching the replay, though, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. When we do these live chats, you can take part right along with us. So I'm actually not wearing anything because I have a feeling I'm really going to like this. Vanilla Azure, Vanilla Azure. However you'd like to say it. I haven't looked at the notes. Obviously, it's vanilla. I'm assuming it's got some elements that would make it a blue fragrance with vanilla. This is an assumption based on the theme, the way it looks. So I'm holding off on spraying anything because I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy this to where I'm going to just throw a few sprays on the neck after I smell it on my hand. So more than likely, this is going to be my scent of the day. So we'll wait till around the 10 minute mark to go ahead and dive into it. For those of you just getting here, though, make sure to hit that thumbs up. It does help. It does make a difference. So let's get caught up with the chat. I see we had, you know, nice number of people hanging out waiting. Appreciate those of you that hung out with me and Justin for two two hours yesterday. For anybody that hasn't seen that stream yesterday, you want to have a, what I deem to be a pretty entertaining stream for the most part. That seems to be the feedback as well. Definitely check out my live stream yesterday with my good friend Justin Copeland. We will be doing this again this upcoming Wednesday on his channel. We did a multiple decant swaps. Multiple decants were swapped. So what's happening? Our tribal fragrance chief. I, I like that. All right. I, I'll take it. I know this is way early. We had a sample from this. It's Sphinx when I purchased tribal decant of Elixir. Excited to see what you think. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. Muhammad told me today, because uh, I sent him the link to let him know we're doing this live chat, that um, they're going to be chilling on releases for a little while. So this is going to be the last release for, I don't know how long, but until further notice, it's going to be for a little while. So shout out to Muhammad. For those of you who don't know, I'm talking about owner of Sphinx Fragrances. Everyone have a good day and acknowledge that like button. Let them know. Thinking of getting some, I would encourage getting samples. You can get samples from the website. The website is linked down below. That is a code that is not an affiliate code, but it is there for you guys to save 15%. I don't get any kickback from it. Um, I do get the fragrances sent to me, but I mean, I say whatever the hell I want at all times with every fragrance I talk about. Otherwise, I don't accept the fragrance. That's just how it works on this channel. Um, Muhammad's good people though. Very good people. He did create that code to help you, you know, hook you guys up for those of you that want to try some different things out. They do work on the decants as well. Good to see you, Neil. Argos pour on. I haven't worn that in a long time. My usual statement. Jim's good to see you. Yeah, I had to push it back 30 minutes. Been a long day. Today's a high carb day. My first high carb day in seven weeks. Been prep in prep for seven weeks. It's the first high carb day that I get. So having two meals before I train. Because I do my fasted cardio, then I have my first meal, then I have to have my pre-workout meal, then I go hit the weights. But because it's high carb day, there were big meals. So I didn't go to the gym till like one. So it really pushed my day a lot later than normal because I was just so full. And my digestive tract had, you know, a harder time to work because it was so much more food. Um, so that's, you know, blame the high carb day. Though I'm super excited. I got to eat my my Kodiak protein pancake today. I haven't had that in two months. I was so happy to eat that today. Um, had to sub out sub out a couple things with some jasmine rice and everything on my meal plan, but I was able to have that. Uh, so it's been a good day. Just a later start to the day. Layer tobacco, rose and Zarmini's plum and vanilla. Really curious to be about your thoughts on this one. Just got a sample with my order, but not going to spoil anything. I appreciate that. Thank you. Because I haven't looked at the notes. Let me acknowledge Terrence. What's going on, my man? ATH Ood. One million royal for Kellen. I would assume just getting it, that would be uh, the favorite fragrance of the moment. I did explain that already. Kenneth Cole Black Copper. Never tried that one. Aventus Cologne or Viking Cologne? Because that's the two colognes. So I'm not sure which one. Both good, though. I was going to wear original Santal. I held off, though. That was what I was slated to, to wear today. Masoni Wave, great choice. Kix Griffey's in the house. Boss Bottled Infinite, Kix Griffey approved. He said, ye. You forgot the T for ye. You got to do a ye. Any of my wrestling fans in here enjoyed that, I would think. Center of the day, Azaro Sport. It's a decent fragrance. Zaharoff Signature Royale X. That's a great fragrance. Yo, what's good? John Barbados, Artist and Pure. Great choice, Jay. Comptoir sur Pacifique Aqua Motu. What a name. Synth of the Night, Capri d'Argent, Conde Parfum. What it, you just trying to make me have tongue twisters? Is that why I feel like you wore those just to twist my tongue? 
I have no clue what they smell like. I would assume they're pretty good, but good to see you. Dan, not the man, Aqua Sins Alley Blue. Nice and easy. Can't go wrong right there. Got to catch up on the streams for the week. Center of the day is Pinot Silvestri, classic, that fresh old school vibe for the office. Ralph's Club Elixir for John Carlo. I've worn that in a little while. That's a good one. Love these live streams. Hit that like button. Send of the day, FOMO of Fragheads of Asylum, their version of Elysium Parfum Cologne. That's a good one. Joel, good to see you, my man, wearing Arrows Flame. Great fragrance. The best of the arrows, in my opinion. Kevin, good to see you. Coach Platinum, basically pineapple sauvage, pineapple and suede. Very vanilla heavy, too. It's like a very sweet sauvage. Not all that tropical. You want tropical, you go with Ambassador. That Arrows DNA is awesome. I agree. Kalen, good to see you wearing watermelon shine from Copper Still. Now, you, sir, are wearing one hell of an indie gem. That's an awesome fragrance. Scent of the day, Black Anubis. Great choice. Good to see you, Dilly. Uh, I, no, I didn't do any pre-orders. Just whenever it rolls around where it's easy to get, I'll grab it then. I'm not racing for all the views like everybody else is right now. I'll be all right. I'll wait. I got I bought enough shit. I got a bunch of stuff coming in. I'm good. I literally today bought two more fragrances on top of all the stuff I ordered from Fragrance Buy. So I'm always scrolling eBay for certain fragrances. And I came across an old formula of Lamal Essence, the Parfum, the Purple Juice with the gold neck and atomizer. I normally wouldn't spend this on a discontinued... Um, a discontinued designer, but I sure did drop $220 on that damn fragrance. Sure did, because uh, my decant's pretty low on the newer version, the Blue Juice, and I really like that. Like, that's an unsung hero from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And I was looking at the price, and I was like, fuck me, I don't want to spend that. But damn, I've been wanting it, and it's not getting any better. The price just keeps going up. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And I bought Ombre Leather Parfum while I was at it, because I got so much that smells just like Ombre Leather. But I don't have a bunch of stuff that smells like Ombre Leather Parfum. So I finally pulled the trigger and got Ombre Leather Parfum. So I bought those two fragrances today. So on top of Bad Boy Cobalt Elixir and all the other stuff I bought yesterday, I was like, all right. I've spent enough on fragrances in the last 24 hours. <laughs> Gentlemen, please gentlemen, please press the like button. Let them know. So we got a few more minutes and we'll get started into uh, Vanilla Azure. Contest de Parfum. But, but, but y'all with these crazy fragrance names. Baby Cat, hell yeah. Great fragrance. Great, great fragrance. One of my absolute favorites. Nico Sculpture, that's a good cheapie. Josh, good to see you. Elysium by Loon Fragrances, a Leighton clone. It's funny to see a Leighton clone named, Leighton clone named Elysium. That's interesting. My man, Dan, what's going on? Prada Luna Rosa, simple, but love the way this lavender is done. Nobody does soapy like them, right? It is a great fragrance. It gets forgotten because of carbon and the two ocean flankers and hell, even sport. Because sports basically woody dominant Lamal. Um, the whole line's good. This just nothing phenomenal out of them, but the original really gets forgotten. It's sad. Glad you're not forgetting that. It's a good fragrance. You bomb absolute seen it in your video, but opinions change and what your thoughts are. No, about the same. Uh, nice and spicy, nothing crazy performance. I haven't gone back to it in a while, though. Good to see you. Noel, good to see you, sir. Watch the replay of the stream, Mind Games, Gardez. Very interesting wear today. Hit the like button on your way in the room. Let them know. Polo Blue Parfum. I was literally backstage before the stream started yesterday telling Justin, because um, he's got a package coming from Ralph Lauren, and he's not sure what's in it. And I said, well, it's going to be, it could be two of three things, because they sent me Polo Red Parfum and Polo Blue Parfum, and he asked my opinions on them, told him, Polo Blue Parfum, you guys know how I feel. I think it's the best one. And then uh, I said it could be Ralph's Club Elixir, though. That's their other new release. So for him, I hope that's what they're sending to him because Justin's style, Ralph's Club Elixir, he would get some joy and some wear out of for sure. Whereas Polo Red Parfum and Polo Blue Parfum, I can't see him reaching for those too much. Those are more me than they are him for sure. I'm more of the you know, mass appealing designer guy than he is. Contains Vetiver Blue Electrique, Cinnonite Dior Home Original. Great choices. Green Irish Tweed, another great choice. The live stream with Justin was fire. I appreciate that, sir. It's always fun when we get together. We really uh, we have a great chemistry. We play off of one another very, very well. While we have 
a similar outlook on a lot of things. We're also very different personalities at the same time. It's a it's a great cohesiveness with our chemistry, I find. I, I love when I get to do anything with Justin. Like I said yesterday in the stream, one of my favorite humans on the planet. Love Justin. Grace is amazing, too. If you guys ever get to meet Grace, which I know you haven't really met Justin, but if you get to meet Justin and Grace together, you guys would get the full effect and totally understand where I'm coming from. Creed Aventus Cologne. Oh, that's what you were wearing. Okay, the Aventus Cologne. That's good stuff. Triple X. Interesting reading on the card that came with it. I'm sure you're talking about Signature Bloom, the next one. Cool live stream with Justin. Center of the day, most wanted EDP. Lone Star Vol, good to see you. Narcotic Delight. Holy shit, is it good? I have a decant Randy sent me that I haven't gotten. I haven't opened the package yet. So let me find a decent uh, stopping point because I need to uh, high carbs for me too. So, you know, it's leg day. Yeah, it was leg day for me too. And Jim's funny enough. So remember we were talking, you know, New Orleans and, and Texas hip hop the other night. I was jamming Fiend's Street Life album today while I was at the gym. Y'all had me jamming Fiend. <laughs> I blame, I blame you and a few others for that. Ooh, um, all time great for me personally. That's a pivotal fragrance in my journey. The original Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. I still think it's the best smelling of the bunch. The original is the best smelling one to me. Paul, good to see you. Florida Tobacco by Altair Alhas. White floral, sticky tobacco fragrance. Okay, so I'm going to skip ahead a bit to Brazilian Niche House. Thank you for elaborating because I had never heard of them. Hi from Copenhagen. Good to see you, sir. Greetings from Corpus Christi. Hell yeah, Corpus Christi Hooks. I've been meaning to get some hats from them. Their minor league team. Good to see you, Oscar. Guest seductive ohm. So I'm trying to skip ahead a little bit. Good to see you, Montrese. Let's see. Zafiro, great choice. Armani code absolute. I'm assuming is which one that is. So I got to skip ahead a little bit, and I'm gonna. Okay, here we go. Speaking of Randy, there he is. Uh, yeah, I haven't opened the package yet. They were just asking me about Narcotic Delight. I haven't gotten around to opening it. Opening it yet. Wearing Blue Chanel Parfum. Hope everyone's doing great. I can't complain. I hope you are doing well. We're at 12 minute mark. We need to get into this. So I do appreciate when brands upgrade their presentation as time goes on. And that is what happened with the awful boxes that he had for the initial six fragrances. Actually, the, the first eight fragrances had those god awful boxes. So switching to this magnetic side opener with the cutout, this was a great choice. This is a big upgrade on the box for Sphinx. I'm so glad we did this. And uh, let's uh, let's do this together, a little ASMR action. Just the visual anyways. We're not going to do the sound, but you might hear it. I'm sure you guys heard that. How y'all like those ASMR fragrance reviews? Shout out to Christopher Cologne. Vanilla Azure has a nice blue hue, and it's like a brushed nickel. Kind of look like you can still see a reflection, but when I put it to this side, you can kind of see some of the brushed lines in that lighting. So I'm going to have their typical cap. So usual stuff. Nothing crazy out of the norm. Atomizer's lined up. Always a nice touch. We'll give it a spray on the hand. If I like what I smell, we're going to give it some sprays around the neck too. A little spiced. Ooh. It's a woodsy vanilla with kind of a like a green spice, maybe even like a cardamom. Not generic at all. Doesn't remind me of anything because that's what I was looking for. That's why I put unique vanilla in the thumbnail in the title because I'm like, is it or is it going to remind me of things? There's something fruity and spicy about this. Yeah, it's a good one. So get a nice little sillage and scent bubble going on top of what we have on the hand. So now I have five sprays on. It's creamy. There's a it's a little powdery. It's a dusty, somewhat creamy vanilla. I mean, there could be other notes playing into that. There's a like a cooking spice. It doesn't come across really all that peppery, but there is a spiciness to this but it's on the fresher side and even a little bit of fruit. I can't tell what it doesn't smell like apple it could. I don't know. It could be who knows, but it doesn't smell like apple. Maybe it is apple. 
this very much has like a um, spring fall kind of feel to a transitional season where it might be a little too much for high heat humidity, but a, you know, a warm day, like 70 some odd degrees, maybe even going into 80. I don't think this would be too much as far as Fahrenheit. I don't think this would be too much. It's not blowing me away. Like, Oh my God, this is the best release from the house. I don't get that. Like I wouldn't put this over Sphinx Elixir, Black Anubis, like we mentioned earlier. Um, honestly, Mango Licious Hippie Storm, I find to be phenomenal. I would put that as like maybe my third favorite release from them. This is up there with fragrances like um, Horchata de Vani, whereas that was a wow factor fragrance, but super situational for me. Whereas this has more situation for me to wear without as impressive of a wow factor. So I kind of put it in that top five range from the house, not quite my top three. Just immediately from this little bit of sniffing. What the hell is that? There's something distinctive that I can't pinpoint what the hell it is. So let's go to the website. Let's go discover now. Creme de pistache is really good too. They got so many good offerings from here. So we got the, ooh, look at the blue to that travel spray. Introducing Vanilla Azure, a captivating fragrance that celebrates confidence and sensuality. Designed with both men and women in mind. Yeah, I agree it's very unisex. I would say leans a little to the masculine side, but not much. This scent is the perfect accessory for any date night or romantic encounter. I think it's fresher than that, honestly. Experience the allure of Vanilla Azure as it entices your senses with its warm and inviting aroma. Imagine a sultry evening where a black slip elegantly slips off. Black slip slipper, maybe? Slips off a woman's shoulder. Oh, okay. So the actual, like the strap. Or a powerful man adjusting his tie before sweeping his partner off their feet. It's a fragrance that exudes confidence and sexuality, drawing others in with just one whiff. Discover the richness of Vanilla Azure as it enfolds on your skin. The scent opens with a captivating suede-like leather note, which is perfectly balanced with sweetness of marshmallow, toffee, and vanilla. So that explains why it's not just some basic vanilla, because I couldn't really tie it like it was a little woodsy and a little dusty. It had this powdery tone to it. Delight the subtle nuttiness of toasted tonka bean complemented by a creepy, a cre creepy, creamy lang and hints of coconut. It's an exquisite blend that lingers on your skin, leaving a lasting impression. Confident, alluring scent. Where's the notes? Let's see. Vanilla, marshmallow, milk, coconut, and toffee. Agarwood. So there's oud here. Praline, lang lang, dates, musk. There's that weird fruitiness, dates. That's what it is, because I couldn't pinpoint what the hell that fruitiness I was getting. Myrrh, mahonia rum, tuberose, leather, tonka bean, mahogany, so dark wood to go with the oud, nutmeg, benzoin, and cinnamon. It's a warm spice, but there's so much going on here. It's actually, it's got a fresher appeal to it than this note breakdown would lead you to believe. So the light creaminess is clearly this marshmallow and milk accords that he's got here. But it also dries up a bit. Like I said, it's got this kind of dusty, powdery nature to it. Uh, what can I attribute that to? Tuberose is typically on the creamy side. Tonka bean can be very, very powdery. But And look, the leathery note is not crazy heavy. The oud, I mean, I, you would have fooled me. It just adds to the woody nuance because it is a very woodsy vanilla fragrance. Like if I was to classify it, I would call it a woody vanilla. That is the main two things is vanilla and woods. But it doesn't smell like oud to me. Like zero funk, nothing medicinal. It's not crazy sweet, but it is on the sweeter side because, I mean, there's a lot of sweet notes here. The coconut's probably what's giving it some balance in this opening, though. Because that's kind of the oddball note with all the sweetness you got going, even though marshmallow is kind of an odd thing for a fragrance, at least typical fragrances. But I think the coconut here is what's out of place when you look at this, you know, like the top and the mid. That's what seems kind of out of place. So I think that's what's giving it some balance. Because it does have a little bit of a tropical feel, but I wouldn't call it a beach scent by any means. Because, I mean, tuberose and the coconut... They can give a little bit of that sunscreen feel, and I get a little bit of that, but not much. It's pretty balanced for what it is. There's certain notes that just don't jump out that I'm looking at here, 
but there's a bunch of notes that do make all of the sense. Like the dates, for example, the myrrh, the tuberose makes sense. The milky accord, marshmallow, vanilla, toffee, the leather, tonka bean, mahogany wood, the cinnamon's the only spice here. I mean, that's there's my spiciness I was getting. Well, praline, I mean, all the sweet notes just make for something sweet, but the dates stand out enough to where I, I picked a little bit of a fruity nuance specifically. I'm not blown away, but it is pretty impressive. It does smell really good. It's worth a sample. I don't think it's must have, but it's definitely worth a sample. I do quite like this. If I was going to throw a rating on this one, it's probably an eight out of 10. It is a great fragrance, but it's not, it doesn't give me the feels the way some of the other releases from the house did where I was like, holy shit, you guys have to try this. Whereas I do think this is a really good release from them. Hence the eight out of 10. I think it's a great fragrance. It's going to perform all their fragrances do. Um, if it doesn't perform for you, it's one of two things. Your skin chemistry is terrible with this fragrance and or your nose is wearing out. One of the two or both. That's 99.9% .9 of the time when somebody's complaining about performance and not being able to smell something. That's what it is. It's normally not the fragrance. And I know that's not always the case. I get it because people are like, oh, what are you talking about, bro? I don't mean for every single fragrance. Most of the time with these higher concentration, higher level ingredient oils, that's the case. There, I specified a bit more. This is pleasant, though. If you like vanilla, that makes this a must try for you if you like vanilla fragrances because it, it doesn't remind me of other vanillas. So it definitely has that going for it where it's as far as a vanilla based fragrance, it's on the slightly more unique side. It doesn't strike me as any other in particular vanilla. Like if you have and love fragrances like Vanilla Oud and Nishanese Ani, for example, totally different from those. This would make quite the diverse lineup of vanillas if you were to have this and both of those, actually. Or instead of Ani, if you got like Grand Soir, something like that, because those are relatively similar to one another. The spice is coming in more and more. And it is getting a bit more powdery, I got to say. And it's probably the Tonka bean. I mean, it could be a num any number of things, a skin chemistry reaction. You never know what's going to make something powdery, but it is getting a bit more powdery. It is speaking to me a bit more, I have to say. It is good. It is. I mean, hell, I sprayed it on my neck immediately. I'm wearing five sprays now. It is good. I'm going to stick with eight out of ten. I think it's a justifiable rating for a first impression for this fragrance. I think it's great. It's not blowing me away. Like, oh, my God, it's one of the best I've ever smelled. Best of the house. One of the best from the house. I would put it in its in the top five from Sphinx. And Sphinx has, I don't know, a dozen fragrances now. Something like that. Right around a dozen. Between men's, women's, and unisex releases. Maybe even a few more than a dozen. I do like this. Not gonna sit here and act like I don't. I definitely do. Now I'm curious for those of you that mentioned you tried it. What do you think? Let's go back to the audience here. What do you guys think that tried it? Similar assessment to mine? Do you get something different? Do different notes jump out on you? Let's get down. So what happened? Where was I? We want more Joey. Okay, so jo Joey Cannoli and uh, I am Joey Cannoli are his two channels. Um, so he's not here right now. <laughs> he was streaming a little while ago. He was live. Uh, you can. That's why I encouraged you in the live stream. I saw your comment earlier. Uh, that's awesome that you like Joey. I would highly encourage subscribing to his channel so you can get all the Joey you want, my man. Now, he'll pop in from time to time over here, but it's not like I have him every day. So if you want more Joey. Please subscribe to Joey's channels, both of his channels. I am Joey Cannoli is where he streams most of the time. And for his uh, newer content, check out just straight up Joey Cannoli is the name of the channel. That one's on the road to a thousand subscribers. So definitely check that out. Late and exclusive waiting on Pegasus in the mail. Why EDP to work? Club Black is my scent of the night. Hugo Boss bottled private accord. I mean, Boss the scent private accord. Because there is no boss bottle private accord. I just left Mar Marshall's empty hand. I think I'm done with my. That's why you haven't seen any rack store videos from me. It's been uh, disappointing for a while now. 
at least two years. That hasn't been that long for me. Good to see you, Rob. Hope you're doing well. You're on vacation and you're hanging out in the live chat. Must be must be some downtime. I hope you're having a good time on vacation, my man. Versace Mano Fresh, you can't go wrong right there. I already pinned that comment. Now I know where I'm at. Scrolling down, Josh, good to see you. Rockin' Mancera Lemon Line, that's a great fragrance. Named after cities and islands, etc. I just learned something. Savoir Faire's Ascension, good to see you, Jason. Packing my fragrances up for the new house, leaving out a select few, of course, my Zahara, Sidrap Boise, and John Barbados Artisan Fragrances. Belongs on an old YouTube reviewer named Fabio Conde. He has some nice fragrances. Are you opening it today? Uh, I don't know. I'd probably do that on a live stream. <laughs> I'll probably do that live when I do that. That's uh, I try to maximize my content as much as I can, so I'd probably do that live. Let's see. Scrolling. Got to skip ahead a little bit. I put something else in. I can't remember what it is. I'll be surprised. Well, hey, we'll both be surprised. Got as a sample with my last order. We'll definitely be grabbing a bottle, so AC seems to enjoy it. How does Sphinx measure up to other indie houses in quality? Upper level. Definitely upper level. I would put them up there with uh, houses like Day 3 Fragrances, for example. Shout out to Mike. It's another great upper level independent niche house. Absolutely. Eddie, good to see you, my man. Halfetti Black Rose. Excellent choice, sir. Agree. I like Elixir a lot better. This to me leans a bit feminine. I thought, you know, for vanilla, I think it's got a little bit of a max, masculine touch. It's very woodsy and, and has that nice hefty spice that's starting to come in more and more. If the florals dominated more, I would think it leans more feminine. But honestly, it's it's to call it what it is, I think it's really more unisex than either of us are saying to either side. Strong as hell. It's a pleasant vanilla, though. It is nice. It most certainly is nice. Oceanic Symphony, Mangolicious uh, Hibby Storm is phenomenal. Tabac Citrine Vanille and Signature Travel Decants today. Does anybody have a familiarity with any of those? I do with all of them. I need to revisit Tabac Citron Vanille because it's been a long time since I smelled it. Signature was just kind of eh. It was one of my least favorites. I didn't care for it. None of the fragrances are bad. It's just certain ones aren't just, just really don't make me want to wear them. That's one of them, but Oceanic Symphony and... Mangolicious Hibby Storm, that's top three for me. I like that more than more than this. I really like that. I'm back. Had to go put the Canadian flag half mass. Ex Prime Minister just died. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Joel. Just tried Brioni EDP. Not a bad fragrance, especially for the price. Might get a bottle. I like all four of them. I'm curious to see what they're going to do for a fifth release. Um. Keep your eyes peeled next week is all I'll say for now. Just keep your eyes peeled. I got the scoop. <laughs> keep your eyes peeled. I'll let you guys know when the time rolls around. I'll make a little post because we're going to have to jump on it immediately. Yeah, but it's going to be in stock next week. So, yeah, I want that for sure. How oody is it? I don't get any oot. I really don't. I'm sure it adds to the woody nuance because very woody dominant, but I don't. It doesn't smell distinctively like any particular oud. If anything, the mahogany wood stands out more. I mean, they're both darker woods. Looks more like fall and winter. I would say early spring or spring evenings. Daytime spring scent, nah, not not so much. Been on, but I probably missed a lot. Um, not too much. We started around 12 minutes, 12, 13 minutes. Intense red tobacco. That is a phenomenal fragrance, Carl. That is a phenomenal fragrance. That is one of my favorite pickups this year. I love it. I love it more than the original. I do not find it similar to Camera. Well, maybe a little bit. Touch. Not much. I could see where you're coming from. But I wouldn't call them the same fragrance. Comra is much sweeter, much lower quality than this. and Much, much sweeter. But I get it. I get where you're coming from. I'm assuming you feel that way. That's why you're asking. I get where you're coming from. Good to see you, sir. 
and only 68 likes. Oh, come on. We're better than that, guys. We're better than that. I mean, it's a niche topic. I didn't expect a big crowd. I'm very thankful to have 110 viewers here, though. That's that's great. 82. We're getting there. 82 likes. Dark Knight from Alexandria Fragrances. Killian Black Phantom Clone. Yes. No, no. If I, I, I've mentioned, there's a reason I gave it 10 out of 10. If I could only keep one fragrance, it'd be that. Yep, I hold it in extremely high regard. Good to see you, Roy. Uh, just talking a little bit about vanilla azure, azure or azure. I'm not sure which way is the proper way to say it, but it's a very powdery. It's got, gotten much more powdery. Powdery, slightly spicy, woody dominant vanilla fragrance. Woods different woods like mahogany and oud but it doesn't have any oud funk but it adds to the woodiness uh, mixed with things like milk toffee marshmallow praline i don't find it super feminine ken real seems to find it more feminine than i do i think it's perfectly unisex if anything the woods and the spice kind of reel it back from being on the feminine side to me it's quite nice i ended up spraying four sprays around my neck plus i have the spray on my hand I'm buying this weekend. Figure out what bottle I'm buying this weekend. My top from the house is Sphinx Elixir. That is my absolute favorite fragrance from this. Very resinous, very rich, smoky, jammy, sweet, nice rose hit. It's good. And Mind Games Discovery set on the way. That's that's two great brands right there, my man. Jeremiah, good to see you, my man. Fire streams this week. I appreciate that, man. I've been having a good time. We're not close, not even close to done. I got Chad on Saturday. I may not stream tomorrow. I may take a break tomorrow. And then Sunday, we'll be doing the members only stream, uh, probably Sunday morning. We've got AEW Revolution Sting retirement match on Sunday evening on pay per view. So I will be locked in watching uh, AEW pay per view on Bleacher Report. Um, I always buy them through Bleacher Report so I can rewatch them later instead of because I don't have cable anymore. I do streaming services, which I was doing it on Bleacher Report when I did have cable. Good to see you, sir. ATH Notorious. ATH Restock tomorrow. Order some. Want to hear your thoughts on the house. If you type in TLTG Aaron Terrence Hughes, I have a live stream where I went through several of his fragrances, actually. That's not one of them, though. I haven't tried tried that one. Coach Black. What's Coach Black? I'm not familiar, Texas Longhorn. Who's your favorite college team? I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm doing well, Sean. Been a while since I caught a live. Had to catch this one. The vanilla fragrance good. Yes. I saw your post on IG with Care Pistachio. I would put that's a little more feminine than this, but I would put it in the playful range of that. It's got that kind of powder and sweetness, but this is much more woodsy and, and has more spice going on than Care Pistachio, but it's not as playful as a Care Pistachio, but I don't like it quite as much as that. But it is still good. I ended up giving it an 8 out of 10. I, didn't, I wasn't wearing anything, so I'm actually wearing this now. I have four sprays around the neck plus the spray on my hand. It smells like a Tootsie Roll. That's fair. I've heard that comparison before. That's fair. Good to see you, sir. Just got the fragrance inspiration. The Killian's Apple Brandy on the rocks. It smells great. I'm going to be testing out the longevity soon. Keeping fragrances. Yeah, they've been putting them in the cases for a while now. Signature leather tobacco. You smell like a man's man's man, sir. Vanilla oud and dabbed on Oceania on my hands earlier. Well, that's an interesting layer combo, but standalone, they're both phenomenal. Anyone else find the new Ocean Parfum being the red bottle kind of odd? Mm. Mm. I haven't tried it yet, though. I definitely want to try it. Oh, so I have a 30 ml of the previous release of Oud Mineral, and I actually yesterday ordered the 50 ml of the new Oud Mineral in the signature line to see if there's any difference. So I have a 30 ml of the private blend. Well, this the re-release of the private blend. They had the private blend, they had the re-release in the transparent bottle, and then now this is the third time Oud Mineral gets released. Now it's in the signature line. So I have a 30 ml of the second release. And now 
a 50 ml of the third release coming because I didn't need to get it. I, it was 132 bucks. I, di I really didn't need to get it because I haven't been wearing Udman Rao, but I was like, I'm curious. I want to know. The bottle looks amazing first and foremost, but one of the reasons I hardly ever wear it is because I have so little. Uh, and it's situational anyways in the summer times when we have something going on in the summertime. I don't wear it much. But having a little bit more, I'll have 80 ml technically. I mean, a little less than 80 ml because I've worn some of my 30 ml, but I have more than enough to be more comfortable with spraying it because I didn't know if they were going to re-release it. It was like, I got to conserve this. I'm not paying resale prices for this because Tom Ford's at resale price are crazy, especially private blend stuff. I, I definitely want to check it out because the first release this year, Toxic, is phenomenal. Good to see you, sir. ATH Carbon plus YSL alone. <laughs> I love how you always doing the LA night stuff. E, it's good to see you, my man. I hope you're doing well. Still Warriors in the house. You Om Ice, sorry for being late. Did you give a rating? I gave it an 8 out of 10. If you scroll back about 10 minutes, 10 to 15, about 15 minutes, you'll be able to hear pretty much everything I had to say. Have a good one, Dan. I appreciate you stopping by. Oh, I love Aqua 2018. You may have to check this one out. It's it's worth a sample. I It's a pleasurable wearing experience. I am enjoying it. It is very nice. Donald, good to see you. What are your thoughts on Zerjoff Renaissance? Oh, yeah. Thinking of making my first true niche purchase. Uh, I highly doubt you'll be disappointed. That is one of the best mint citrus fragrances, if not the best mint and citrus dominant fragrance I own. It's real good. Real good. All the good stuff you've ever heard about it is true. All the bad stuff you've ever heard about it is, I just don't know what to tell those people. Because I think it's phenomenal. There's an argument for it being my favorite. It's hard to argue over Mephisto. I love Mephisto. But it's between that and Mephisto for my favorite of my Zerzhoffs. And now I have about nine or ten maybe Zerzhoffs. And it's between those two for my favorite. Because on a warm day, it's hard. It's going to be hard to beat that. Performance is actually pretty good. It's a juicy citrus, very bright mint, and not crazy synthetic like toothpaste kind of mint either. Clean musk. It's really good. It's green, very, very fresh and green. It's amazing. It's You have to try it. You have to try that. Even if you don't get a bottle, it's absolutely something you need to try, I think. Camaro Ohm Intense. I haven't reached for that in a while. That's a great one for Paris Corner. 112 for what? Got the post percent of the day, El Dorado Avenue by Camara Parfums. Ventus Clone, 15 bucks. Rack Store, Monster Hidden Gym. He means original coach for men because it's Black Fade. That makes sense. You're probably right, Randy. That makes sense. New channel called Stone Cologne 316 in case anyone wants to see some satire fragrance content. There you go, guys. Check out Stone Cologne 316. What? Stone Cologne 316. What? And if anybody's wondering why I'm doing that, you're not a wrestling fan and you don't understand the name of the channel that I'm talking about. So, Baby Cat, another one wearing Baby Cat. Huh? We got we got some some Baby Cat twins in the chat today. My birthday's on Sunday. Can I get a Ross and Dedrick stream so I can come and say what's up? On Sunday, no, sir. Uh, the only stream on Sunday, I, I would like to tell you happy birthday early here and now, and I will tell you happy belated birthday again on Monday. Because Sunday morning is going to be the members-only stream, and then that's going to be it. I'm going to be locked in watching uh, watching pay-per-view that evening. Uh, I will not be streaming in the afternoons on Sunday. I typically don't stream on Sundays. Um, but usually the beginning of the following month or right at the very end of the month is when I do the members-only live stream. Depends on when it shakes out. But is it okay if I shout out a channel, one I know you enjoy? I mean, you more than welcome to type whatever you'd like, sir. <laughs> David Webster. All right. Good to see you, sir. Good afternoon, fragheads. Happy birthday in advance. Yeah, exactly. Dilly's good people. Javante Gentleman EDP. A good vanilla scent. That's a beautiful, creamy, balmy iris. Man, that's beautiful. I like a solo blue better than Oceania, though. For being both on the fresh side, they're actually pretty different. They're both great. But obviously, I would pick a solo blue over it. Just got the day three sample pack. 
you speak of it. Very impressive. I bought Sphinx Elixir based on your review and love it. It is phenomenal. So I got a package in today from Mike from Day Three Fragrances, my man. And I told him, I said, I'm going to do a stream with that this week. And he's like, he's like, man, I didn't. I hope he doesn't mind me saying that. He's like, man, I, I didn't send that to you for PR or anything. It's just a thank you. Because when we were starting out, you're the first person that gave us a shot when we were nothing, which I appreciate. And I greatly appreciate because that's a brand I've come to really believe in. Any of you that have tried day three fragrances, you understand. Mike puts out quality, unique stuff. He does. So I didn't look at what three fragrances are in there, but I was pretty amped up about the hoodie. So he has his clothing line he started now, day three fragrances, the day three hoodies and stuff. So he sent me one of the hoodies. So I'm pretty, pretty psyched up. He he had did some snapback trucker hats like two years ago. I have one of those. I have that hat too. So I'm gonna I guess I'll get called a giant shill and all that stuff because for the live stream, I'm gonna wear the day three hoodie and the day three hat. And I don't care who wants to say what. It's pretty dope. I love his logo. So when he makes phenomenal fragrances, I get no kickbacks or anything. I have no affiliate links or anything. I just believe in the brand and Mike's a good dude. So uh next week there will be a day three day three fragrances stream, guys, and I'll be wearing some day three stuff. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that because I didn't see that coming because he's like, hey, man, what's your P.O. box over there? I want to send you something. It just messaged me randomly last week. So I'm like, hey, here you go. I was thinking it'd be the new philosophia, I believe is how you say it. I figured it'd just be that. And uh, it's a couple of fragrances. So we might do a giveaway for a bottle and stuff live. I'm, I'm you know, throwing some noodles against the wall to see what's going to stick with some ideas on what we're going to do. We're going to do something. But that'll be next week, guys. Oh, I don't know. I'm definitely ordering a disco, a discovery set. Okay. If that's the case, I'm not sure. Somebody in the chat would have to weigh in. Powdery Woody Vanilla has me intrigued. It is nice. It's not groundbreaking, but it is, it is good. It's on the upper scale of quality. Hopping in for the last few seconds. We'll catch the replay. Slap that like button. The Bishop Jared Miller has spoken. You guys heard it. Slap that like button. I appreciate you, Jared. Love the Mercedes Benz Club. Black. Is there another fragrance that's close to that one? Um, Zadig and Voltaire, this is him. It's kind of similar. Um, it doesn't have all of the Ambroxan. It's not as warm of a smoky vanilla, but they're kind of in the same vein. It's slightly fresher. Even though it's still amber-based, I don't find it's as warm as um, as the Mercedes one. But they're, they're kind of similar. The Focket is Baby Cat's little brother. <laughs> Paris Corner did such a good job with that one. I'm so proud of him for it. Because, look, I'm happy to have Baby Cat. And now that I have Baby Cat, it renders Rifaka useless for me. Because, guys, I'm, it's, I've said it before. I'll say it again. If I have the original, I'm going to wear the original. I'm just going to. Because I have so many fragrances that, you know how often I'm aware of Baby Cat? Two, three times a year, maybe. Realistically, a few times a year, maybe a handful. If I didn't have it, I'd wear Rifaka. Because it is that good. But that's the only time I really recommend the clones is if you're not going to get the original. You don't want to spend the money on the original. But if you can get the original, 99% of the time, it's the way to go. It's the better wearing experience. Some people are, are fine with the good enough experience, and that's totally cool. I get that. There's situations where I'm good. I'm cool with the good enough experience, too. That orange bottle right there is a prime example. I'm not getting afternoon swim because North Stag Quattro, good enough. Good with it, <laughs> you know? So I, I totally get that thought process because I do it too. No one car from Decan X to try it out. Okay. Eight out of ten gets my attention. Then I have Horchata de Vini. Yeah, that's funny. That was a nine out of ten. Nine, nine point five. I forgot what I gave it. That's mind blowingly good. Cinnamon sticks dipped in that milky, you know, that drink. It smells like horchata, but this like with cinnamon sticks sitting in it. It's amazing. I haven't worked in a while, but it's, that's a wow factor fragrance to me anyways. Speaking of my favorite Zerzhoff, Pink Panther is rocking it. PDM Altair is similar. Okay, let's see. Ross, have you ever tried uh, Abercrombie Woods? I have not. Long discontinued, but they just brought it back, and I'm thinking about blind buying. It's only 58 bucks, so why not? Man, I say that all the time. I just blind bought yesterday. So around $700 worth of fragrances. And then today, uh, these weren't blind buys because I had a decan of Essence de Parfum. I had a decan of Ombre Leather Parfum. Those are just, I've been itching to do it. And 
Lamal Essence to Parfum just keeps getting more expensive. I can't believe I dropped that on a discontinued Lamal flanker. But that's how much I wanted it. I've been wanting it. And the longer I'm waiting, the worse it's getting. And Old Batch came around. And they have a few bottles of it. Old Batch came around. Purple juice with the gold atomizer. So I was like, mm, it's not going to get easier for me to get that. So let me get that. For those of you that don't know, the purple juice, the leather comes out a lot more than the blue juice with the, with the silver, with the chrome stem and atomizer. Because there is two versions. There's a big time reformulation that happened with uh with Lamal Essence to Parfum, which the second formula wasn't bad. I had a 10 ml of it. I still have a few ml in there. It's not bad. It's great. It just falls flat quicker than the rich purple juice that was the first batch. So now I got a big 4.2 ounce of the first batch coming. I'll never go through the whole thing, but I'm so giddy to get that. That's one of my favorite Lamal flankers. Yeah, that's up there with... uh. Man, because it's hard to say what's my favorite Lamal flanker ever. There's an argument for it being that one. My favorite Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance is La Bella Parfum. Subject to change with Paradise Garden coming in, but I don't know. I haven't smelled it yet. But I, I would assume it's going to give it a run for its money. Uh-oh. I see a very special guest in here. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nigerian giant Omas has graced us with his presence. How are you, sir? Let's see. I can't wait for the hot weather so I can try Viri. Speaking of Viri, Jordan, have you sprayed that one yet? For those, Because some of you know I sent him that Woody Olfactor Discovery set for Mind Games, and that's in there, and that's one of the ones he wanted to check out. What do you think about it? Because I got a bottle. I love it. I think the citron with the greens and the pink pepper, it's mwah, magnificent for this season. Not a whole lot, man. We were checking out uh, – checking out – Vanilla Azure. I ended up spraying it on as my scent of the day. I got four sprays around the neck as well as a spray on the hand. Woody, spicy, powdery vanilla is what it comes down to. Very good quality, very strong, very unisex. Some in the chat have said it leans a little feminine. I find it leans a little, a little touch masculine because of the spices, but the more it gets powdery, the more it's bringing it to the feminine lean. But I like it. Mahogany wood and oud without the oud smell. Praline, marshmallow, milk, toffee, all these wild coconut, all these wild sweet notes, but it's not crazy sweet. Uh, this month, it's 100 ml of Wulong Cha. That was a clear winner, 100 ml of Wulong Cha. And the designer, which won easily, that won't be here till Monday, though, unfortunately. I had to buy it somewhere else. Fragrance buy didn't have it in stock. Um, 100 ml of Terrier Mezzo Givre. That was the main prize. The second spin at the niche tier is all of those, that six pack of authenticity fragrances. Um, I haven't decided yet. I do have a bottle, an open bottle of CK All, and I might do something else for the second spin with that for the designer tier. And then the mystery package is the third spin for the designer tier. So this anybody in the Hall of Fame tier or above is five spins you're eligible for again this month because we didn't crack the 30. Remember, we're at 29 eligible members at the Hall of Fame and Super Fan tiers. We needed to get to 30 for that third spin because every 10 we add a spin or increase the value of what's given away. So he gets it. I mean, it's, he's the, it's his channel. Joy Amin, he's close to 100K. Absolutely. Absolutely. I really enjoy his content. One of my favorites. Same. I love Joy. I figured I'd ask because some people – don't like random shout outs. I appreciate the respect. I love joy. I would love for anybody that's here now live or watching this replay. If you're not subscribed to joy, I'm in. He is a ray of sunshine of a human being. My brother. I haven't talked to him in a little while. We, we throughout the years, we've always messaged. We've always been very friendly with one another. I've been watching joy for years. He puts out a lot of content when he drops videos. He'll usually drop three or four in a day. A couple days later, he'll drop three or four. Um, he is almost to that silver play button. Absolutely go check out Joy I'm in for any of you that have not. Joy is uh, a staple, a pillar in the online fragrance community, in my opinion. So absolutely, I appreciate you bringing that up, David, because Cuba just got his silver play button yesterday. I think he got it in or day before. I shared that on my IG story. So happy for Angel. So happy for Angel. I'm, I'm ready for Justin to get his. That's long overdue for Justin, too. I'm glad to see a lot of people that I've been watching for a long time hitting this milestone or getting really close to and about to hit the milestone. So, yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. By all means, anybody 
anybody that hasn't checked out Joy, please go check out Joy. Same goes for Justin. Go check out Justin. Proud of Amber Poor Almond Tints. If you can only recommend one, would you say Soleil Dietily or Aqua Wood? Ooh. Evan, that's a tough question, sir. So Aqua Wood's got some more density to it. It's more year-round. Soleil Dietily is more hot weather summer. This is breezy, airy, very watery. Whereas you have more incense, amber, it's heavier, not really heavy, but Alka Woods is heavier fragrance. So if you want something that's going to be great year round, high level versatility, Aqua Wood. But if you want a banger for the heat, Soli Dietily. That's how I have to answer that. Because one's not better than the other. They're better for different things. One's ideal for certain seasons. The other one's ideal as a do-it-all. So I hope that helps. I like Jeremy Fragrance Office for Men. You should get some in your collection. Um, I've tried Office for Men. It's a good fragrance. Amber, bergamot, a load of ambroxins, very powerful stuff. Um, I've tried Date for Men. I haven't tried Unisex or um, what's the other one? Black Tie. I think it's Black Tie. I haven't tried that one either. I think he might have a fifth one too. I just can't remember. I love day three. Ambar and Dominicano is my fave. Bani, that's my fave. And Midnight Whisper, also bangers. Much love. I hope you have a great birthday on Sunday, Dilly. I would not say this is him is similar. You would not say, well, I would say, sir. So we just have differing opinions on that. I would say they are quite similar. But it's all good. It's everybody, everybody has different opinions, you know. Just put a bid for a record on eBay. Win the next bottle, I will get a Lorem Sport Edition Blanche. If I don't get the record, the next bottle will be Aventus Cologne. So it must be a very expensive record if the difference between this is about $200. Depending on bottle size, obviously. Ooh, for a solo blue, immediately one of the best fragrances in my collection. Preach, my friend, preach. You built it up, but somehow still underrated it. I didn't know you could underrate 10 out of 10, but hey, you won't hear me argue. I think it is that damn good. The depth and complexity and overall vibe is just amazing. And look, if you could have had an opportunity to try Oligarch Parfum before it got pulled, it was a little bit, it's the same fragrance, but it was just a little bit denser. It really was the best of the three. Justin prefers the EDP because it was the brightest of the bunch. It was very, very bright in the top. Um, but I prefer the Parfum. The Oligarch Parfum, I think, was the best. Isola Blue is literally the exact same blend, just not quite as dense. I mean, we're talking about a half a click, maybe a whole click back from the level of density of Oligarch Parfum. So if you love Isola Blue, you would have definitely loved both versions of Oligarch. I'm blessed and super lucky to have all three. They are amazing. Isola Blue is kind of the happy medium between the three because it's not as bright as the EDP and not as dense as the Parfum. It kind of falls in between, but it's the same formula. Just like the Elysiums are the same formula, just balanced differently. This, this isn't balanced different, differently. They're just different concentrations is how it works out. Baby Cat's so fired. You won't hear me argue. I agree. I have not. Love the green sense. Same. And the notes sound good to me. I do as well. I have all of them. What is one fragrance you can suggest that falls within the DNA with a twist but better? I appreciate all your suggestions. You have not missed. Salute. Salute right back to you, sir. Um, hmm. Falls in the DNA. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> have I got a suggestion for you? Get your ass to Macy's and see if they have Boss the Scent Elixir. It smells like, because it's pimento spiced heavily at the top, it smells kind of like infrared with Boston scent because it's still got that sweet maninka fruits, even a little, little boozy, very woodsy. Go try Boston scent elixir. That kind of fits the description of what you're looking for. Kind of a twist. I wouldn't, eh, better in some ways, depends on which flanker. You're talking about Boston Elixir. I'd take over a few, you know, probably half of those Spice Bomb flankers, if not more. And you know how I love Spice Bomb. Um, 
I would say you should go do that. Go try Boston and Elixir. Get it on skin. Screw a test strip. Get it on skin. Thank me later. You can let me know how I didn't miss on that suggestion later. Because if you like those, you will like this. I'll be shocked if you don't. Gentlemen only absolute. Speaking of Spice Bomb with a twist, that smells like gentlemen only mixed with Spice Bomb. That's actually a good suggestion. Even though he wasn't suggesting, it's ironic that this was the next comment. Roger, you, sir, smell incredible. Sorry to leave the party so early, but it's 1.12 a.m. here, starting my motorcycle tomorrow after five months in the winter storage. I'll be wearing Creed Aventus cologne as it's the first day of spring. Well, Roy, thank you for coming by. Go get you some rest. Ride safe on that BMW tomorrow and have a great day. You're going to be smelling great. and You're going to be riding in style because that's a beautiful, beautiful bike, my man. Thank you for coming, man. Have a good night. Matthew, good to see you. Happy to be able to make another live stream. Send today's Carlisle. Haven't tried it yet. Tried Gambit and didn't like it. Okay, I'm kind of surprised. Teach their own, you know. I'm kind of surprised you didn't like Gambit. I highly doubt you won't like Veri. Veri's good stuff, man. Veri's so good. I mean, you have others to try in that discovery set, but Veri's the one. Veri's definitely the one. Gambit gets a lot of love. I'm kind of surprised that you didn't. I mean, taste is taste, right? Everybody likes different things. Look. You don't like Gambit? Wow. See, <laughs> Everybody's different, though. I get it. Aqua de Parma, Merto de Panarea. Ooh, I have that one. I haven't worn that in a while. Great for the summer. Hindu Kush for J-Rock Beats. Good to see you. Wulong Cha is phenomenal. I want to try X, but I hear it's like the same. I heard it's actually fresher. I heard X is fresher than Wulong Cha. That kind of disappoints me to hear that. Hindu Kush. Okay. You use unscented lotion and unscented deodorant. If so, any recommendations? I don't layer anything, and I don't I don't have to lotion because I have oily skin. Now, top of my hands will get dry and my elbows from time to time, but as far as like forearms and upper arm, neck, chest, any of that stuff, no. I typically have pretty oily skin for the most part. That's one of the reasons I get pretty good performance in most fragrances. Um, yeah, I don't really have any recommendations. I've been wearing the same deodorant since I was a teenager, degree cool rush. If ain't broke, don't fix it. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I don't have any suggestions, my man. Yeah, they do, that blue bottle. Yeah, I'm going to grab it when it's readily available. Very dope wore it last week. We think about the mall love. Well, I'll let you know when it comes in. We're going to do a live unboxing. My package shipped today. I've got some... Some mystery fragrances coming for a collaboration video with Fragrance Buy, as well as I bought a bunch of stuff. So I told my rep, just throw it all in one package. <laughs> so I got one big-ass package coming with seven fragrances that I bought, and I don't know how many is in the mystery for the mystery surprise package for the video. I think it's three or four fragrances, some Middle Eastern stuff. Um, yeah, so so I, it's, it's a big-ass package. That'll be a separate video. That's a collaboration I'm doing with them. Um, but we're going to do the unboxing for all the, sh all the shit I bought. <laughs> we're going to do that live. I'm very eager to try that. I've looked at the notes. Vanilla, pepper, ambergris, which I've seen everybody bitching that it's probably Ambroxan. I like Ambroxan, so I'm excited. I saw uh, Chris Fragmental drop the video on Paradise Garden and Lamal Lover, and I've intentionally not watched them because I don't want to know anybody's thoughts. Well, there's somebody's thoughts. Bleh, not good. I don't care what you think, Randy. I'm going to form my own opinion, damn it. Yeah, that sold out in like five minutes. Ryan upgraded. Okay. Well, you are eligible, sir. Black tie is like Tuscan leather. Date and unisex. Yeah, date, I, I think, smelled like uh, ultra male mixed with chrome. So I smelled it at Sin Explorer in 2019. That was, it had just came out when 2019 Sin Explorer happened. It was his second fragrance. That's what I've always related to. Smell like chrome mixed with ultra male. Must be my skin. Club Black might as well have been Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. Damn. I mean, everybody's different. You know what I mean? What you smell is what you smell. What I smell is what I smell. Neither of us are wrong. It's just what we smell. Well, it's not about me missing because at the end of the day, it's just if we have similar taste. Any of you that say I never miss on a recommendation, we just have similar taste. That's what it comes down to. Whereas if it's somebody that kind of meshes with my taste, let's say half the time, then I've probably recommendations have missed. For, for those guys, you know what I mean? Nothing's going to be 100%. That's why sampling is so important. 
Oh, I went backwards. Good to see you, sir. Lazaro wanted by night. Great choice. The scent elixir. Give me my release of the year. I'm calling now. It's the one to beat for me, too. Randy, I had so Omas loved it. I think he gave it a nine. Um, I want to say it was an eight from Dedrick, which he was the lowest rating I got. Uh, George Atkinson gave it a 10. It's a nine from me. Um, shit, who else did I have smell it? Chad. It was a 10 from Chad. So, like, I've been bringing it with me when I've been run, going to see people just to see what they think and kind of gathering opinions. It's the one to beat for me. It is the bar for designers for me this year. And there's a bunch I'm excited about, and I got several coming in that, of course, they got a shot at being my new favorite. But no matter what, Boston Sin Elixir is going to be one of the best designers released this year. Even if it's not my absolute favorite that was released, right now it is. It's the one to beat. So, yeah, I'm... And your your assessment of infrared mixed with boss descent, I can't get past it. It totally is that. You nailed it. I've been using it because <laughs> it makes all the sense. The first time I smelled, I was like, "Holy shit, that's exactly what it smells like." Yes, sir, Javanti gentlemen, absolute got it. I'm on par. Yeah, that's that's a good one. If you've ever smelled gentlemen only that juniper berry incense DNA, if you mix it with spice bomb, you get gentlemen only absolute. St. Julep. I got Boss Elixir from How Ross described the scent. Amazing. I meant gentlemen only. Okay. Volcanist King of the Super Chat has arrived. Where an Ood Mineral. You always come through showing off, sir. You always come through showing off with a donation and a great scent choice. You're the real MVP, not Kevin Durant's mom. I said it. Sorry, KD. <laughs> so I appreciate I appreciate the, the kind gesture as usual, sir. I have a 30 ml of the last time it released, and I did order yesterday a 50 ml of the new signature line release of Mood Mineral. I'm a fan of it as well. Who do you recommend as a niche aquatic fragrance? Actually, Oceanic Symphony from them would be really good from Sphinx. That would be a good one for you to check out. Very musky and aquatic, clean, sharp, saltwater heavy. A lot of citrus at the top. Very sharp. That would be a good one. There was something clawing in it. Teach their own. Teach their own. I'm curious to see what you think about Viri, though. It'll it'll be heartbreaking for me if you don't like Viri, you know? You know, I generally have similar skin reactions, so I was surprised. Hashtag oily skin gang. That's what I'm talking about. We'll start us a hashtag. Shout outs to Joy Amin. Shout outs to Joy Amin, for sure. So I actually made it to the bottom. Holy shit, with all my tangents, I made it to the bottom. I am so impressed. Caught the live at work. Naxos today. I'm like six sprays and my nose is kind of burning. Strong fragrance. It's definitely a strong fragrance. If you sprayed up here, that's probably why. Because it's just constantly in your face. I've gotten away from spraying my chest unless it's like summertime and it's fresh stuff. Then I spray all up here on the arms and I'll spray on the chest and everything. But um, when it's stuff that's on the stronger side, side of the neck, back of the neck, I'll usually do sides, corners, and straight back. That's how I do five sprays because they kind of overlap one another. Because if you go straight on the side, then you do it at an angle, they're going to hit. And then when you do the one straight back, it's going to hit both of those. Um, and usually with the back one, I, you know, I like to call it paint brushing when you, when you sweep. When you spray, that's how I do the final spray. So anytime I'm just wearing five sprays, it's usually just around my neck, and it's usually stuff that's strong. So if with Naxos, I would recommend not spraying up here, especially if that's what you got going on, Diego. Going to Houston next month to visit a cousin, and, man, I miss the good old days, cruising on Richmond and Westheimer on Saturday. Man, traffic's a bitch, though, especially on Westheimer. <laughs> oh, man. Look, my heart's always going to be in Texas. I love it here, but I love Texas, too. Southeast Texas, that's always plan B. If we ever decide we don't like it here, which we're already looking at houses, so that's not the case. We're staying. We love it here. But I'd never be against going back to Texas. I loved it in Texas. I have family in Texas. I have a lot of friends in Texas. Texas. It's awesome. Awesome place. <clears throat> Any suggestions for Molinar for summer? Jean Jean Bray smells like niche Dior Homme Cologne. 
It's not as heavy of ginger as you may think. It straight up smells like a slightly more complex, slightly higher quality Dior Homme Cologne. It's like 50 bucks. Tip for you waiter, folks. Forgot to write something. Oh, I, I missed it. I appreciate that. Thank you for the $10. I, I, I guess uh, it went through as a super chat without a comment, and I appreciate the $9.99. Tip your waiter, folks. Yeah, so I, I say that when I super chat Randy. That's <laughs> That's what that is. That's him repaying it i guess i appreciate that me and an average joe are bad about that we'll, we'll super chat the same ten dollars back and forth to each other i guess me and you are going to do that too <laughs> so next next time you stream and i'll pop in i'm gonna send you 9.99 right back <laughs> and the problem is each time we do it we're just giving google three bucks like you just gave google three bucks and when i come do it to you i'm gonna give google three bucks <laughs> that's all it is they can either owe to cyan or novice by Liquid Imaginaire, they're both similar yet different. So, the Eau de Cyan I'm thinking of is Virtus, and that is a hyper realistic seaweed fragrance. That's not mass appealing aquatic. It's a believable aquatic, but it's not mass appealing aquatic. That's a polarizing, bitter aquatic. Really good if you can appreciate it for what it is. I have a bottle. I don't know if you were talking about the Virtus one. They, man, today I saw an announcement for some Phantom Jordan 12s coming holiday season, all whites with the gold Jumpman tab and the gold uh, lace eyelets. Like, they are killing me, dude. Jordan Brand wants me to spend a grip this year because I'm so getting the powder blues at the end of the month. I'm definitely getting the, I'm getting the, the Flint Gray 14s that are coming out in a couple of weeks, too. Like, there's two pairs of J's I'm getting in March. They're killing me because holiday season, November, December, man, it's ridiculous. There's like nine or 10 pairs of shoes that I want. The Royal Foam Posits are coming back soon. Like every other day, something new is getting announced for this year. They're, they are not spreading this out well enough. Got the Cement 3s, Reimagined Cement 3s coming. Like, man, I'd rather get those than the Reimagined Bread 4s. I missed on those, and I don't want to pay resale. Resale is like 300-something bucks in my size. Man, they're killing me with some of these sneakers this year because it's a lot of heat. This is one of the most heat-filled years I can remember. It's it's kind of wild. I wish they'd spread it out. Like everything coming out this year, they could have spread over three years, to be honest with you. They have that much coming out. You own the parfum was a good call. I get strong with you vibe plus a heavy dose of virus. That's fair. That is fair. It is good stuff. Lone Star State. Speaking of aquatics, most blue stuff is super scratchy in my nose. Any idea what that might be? Any, any suggestion on an alternative? Hmm. <sighs> Depends on the blue, because not all blues are created equal. It's kind of a genre more so than a scent profile, meaning it's more of a theme. It's not necessarily a specific set of notes and accords. There's you know, usual suspects for the sense of an accords, but they're not always the same. As far as suggestions on an alternative, that's kind of tough. Because it might just be the genre as a whole just doesn't really speak to you. As far as what's making it scratchy, I don't know. That's a that's a head scratcher, no pun intended, for me. I haven't eaten either. But I hear Trill Burger is phenomenal. Definitely go support Bun B. Go Trill Burger. I hear it's great. It's the thought that counts for sure. Should be tip your YouTube and give some to Ross too. It's basically what it is. Make sure to make Google happy, guys. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Tough money to sit. Tough year to save money on Jays for real. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. There's so much I want. And there's stuff that immediately, like those black and wet OG high ones, immediately 50 bucks off as soon as they dropped. You can get them on GOAT for like 50 bucks off retail. Those uh, gray blue 13s, they were immediately like 30, 40 bucks off because they knew they were going to sit. They knew they were going to sit right away. Um, and the ones I really want, like I bought the, the eggplant foams ahead of time. I got early release on those. I got them like three weeks early. They just came out today. I got them three weeks ago. They came from China. They're legit, though. 
That's what happens with these early release ones. Like Nightwing, Wear Testers, that's where he gets most of his stuff when he gets the reviews before they release. That's where he's getting the same place. I get them. Um, I ordered them through Goat, but I mean, they're all coming from the same place. <sighs> like those, I could get those Flint Gray 14s that I was just talking about. I could get them right now for over re a little bit over retail, but I, was, I have a feeling if I wait, I can get them below retail. Whereas the Powder Blue 9s, they were $2,000 in every size a week ago. Because people are expect they're gonna they're gonna be hype beasts. They're gonna set the market on those. So it's it's a little different. Like you're gonna pay if you can't hit on the sneakers app, you're gonna pay over retail for the powder blues. And that's gonna be me. I'm gonna pay over retail because I've never hit on the sneakers app. Never once. It has not happened. I don't even bother trying anymore. I just go to go and pay pay over retail. Screw it. I just I don't bother. And I really want the powder blue nines. Like I really, really, I haven't had a pair of nines since the low top obsidians back when I was like 19, when they retroed those, the old retros, when they were really good leather, those are had patent leather around Navy blue patent leather. And those were great. I could wear those without the laces, the way they elastic on the tongue. It was like a half booty style, low top nines. I need to release more low top nines. They're better than the mids, but I'm going off on a tangent. So I'll, <laughs> I'll leave it be. Oh, she don't give me no grief. I monetize my passions, sir. And uh, all the things I talk about in content happens to be all the things I enjoy the most that happen to be write-offs at the same time. This is a limited liability corporation. So, yeah, the write-offs. It's a blessing. Also a curse because I get so much shit that I don't get to enjoy most of it. It's... Double-edged sword, guys. It's a blessing and a curse. Might sound cool, might look cool, but look at the fragrances. I have so many great fragrances, and I can't wear them all, all the time. I'll never go through them. It'll never happen. Same thing with sneakers. I'm not going to wear five different pairs a day. Like, even though it doesn't match, I'm still wearing what I wore to the gym for leg day today, these Project Rock 4 Monos. I didn't even change out of those. They, have, they don't match at all. <laughs> but they match what I was wearing to the gym earlier. I'm always wearing some dope sneakers. I always got some dope shoes on. I got hundreds of pairs of shoes. I got rid of all my forces. I used to have a couple different pair. I've debated on getting some all whites, but it's psychologically, I'm going to want to get the force fields, you know, the little pads that go inside the toes to try to fight against the creasing because I come from the era of trying not to crease leather on sneakers. <laughs> So I, I don't even bother with the forces anymore. Then I really, my, there was a moment in time, early 2000s, where I was into them, the one, their heyday. That was really the most popular they ever were. Clean pair of all whites with gum bottoms. I like gum bottoms. I do. Bro, sneakers and frags might have to go on blade roll. <laughs> What's going on? I hope you're doing well. I see you with all the Jordans, but I never see you in any fours. I, I, don't, I don't really care for the fours. Like that's, I was just talking about how I didn't even bother trying to get the the reimagined bread fours. I just didn't care for them. I don't I like the threes more, but I'm more like sevens and beyond. I like the ones. I'm one of the few guys that like twos. This guy likes twos. When I was hanging with him, he had the white and gray Jordan twos on. <laughs> this guy likes twos. Um where was it? I was right here. Uh I'm more sevens. I don't own any eights. I've had the Raptor uh the playoff eights in the past. I've been debating on getting the aquas and the citruses, the citrus sevens. Um, but I like nines, tens, man. I haven't had a pair of tens in forever. I would love for the steel tens to drop again or the double nickels. Let the double nickels and steel tens drop. That'd be amazing. Um, but my main, my main series of J's for me, 11s through 14s, man. Let me get 11s through 14s. I could wear those every day forever and ever and ever. And the one silhouette, the number one silhouette to me is the Jordan 12. That's always been my favorite sneaker. Always will be. There's no such thing as a bad looking pair of 12s to me. Even with some of those wild shits they've put out, I'd still rock them. I don't own tons of them. I own a few pair. I've had some OGs in the past that I kept dead stock till they were falling apart. Um, but yeah, 12 is my favorite silhouette ever. But 11 to 14, that's really the range for me. That's my favorites. Got some new Ultra Boost, and man, they are comfortable. I got several pairs. What's the what for? So you're telling me 
you are the plug. <laughs> Not necessarily, man. I, I have access to the same things you have access to. That's all. I, most of my purchases come through GOAT. Most of my sneaker purchases come through GOAT. I appreciate that, man. I'm waiting on that package to come in. So I literally, uh, when the Born in the Iron Paradise colorway dropped last week, I emailed the rep and I was like, not sure if this is possible. But those Born in the Iron Paradise color, that gray that just dropped, is it possible for me to get that colorway? He said, I'll see what I can do. I'll see if I can secure that for you. Haven't heard from him in a few days. Didn't get the package yet, but that's pretty dope. Uh, Jordan, I haven't told you. Yeah, Under Armour reached out. I'm going to be doing some training shoe reviews from my other channel. They're sending me the Dynamic Intellinit, uh, the Tri-Base Rain 6, and the Project Rock 6, which I already have a pair of Project Rock 6, but it's like, hey, I'll take another color. I love the Project Rocks. I'm wearing some Project Rock 4. I have like seven, six or seven, no, seven, seven colors of the Project Rock 4 alone. It's kind of my favorite training shoe is the Project Rock in general. They always improve. Year to year, the five is better than the four. The six is better than the five. Love them. Should arrive on Saturday. I hope I like it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. I don't know. I don't know, but they're pushing out a lot. A lot in one year. Too many at one time. Slow down. I agree. Like, damn, not everybody can buy every release unless you like deep in the sneaker game. You ain't getting every release. Now, like these bigger shoe channels and shit. Yeah, they're going to get everything. Fulmer Simpson and, and Wear Testers and, and Tony D2 Wild and all, all them boys. Seth, uh, what's his name? Seth, shit, he's got a couple million subscribers. White dude. Kind of ginger. Seth Fowler. Like all them Hess Kicks, like all those guys, yeah, they're going to get everything and get to do videos and all that stuff. But us consumers, <laughs> we got to drop. They can, that's write-offs for them because that's what they do. They're LLC and or S Corp because, I mean, they, they make money, plenty of money on YouTube to reinvest into their channel. As I do with fragrances and stuff, they do the same thing with sneakers. They're sneaker content. But... Man, it's they got the plug. They're like how Jordan was saying, I'm the plug. No, them dudes are the plug. They got connects at the brands and shit like that. Jordan brand and Adidas and stuff like that. So that's who's got the real connects that get hooked up on the low that they 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 gonna know when it's coming and they might even get some shit sent to them, you know. Cool water is fine. Hugo and Hugo Extreme were scratched. Almost think it might be cardamom with bergamot or how that interacts with other freshy stuff. Polo Green does it as well. It might be cardamom then. It might be green notes that do it to you. I'm more of an Asics fan, but honest, once I got them, I ain't looking back on another brand. Hey, everybody's got their thing that they like. You know, everybody's got that that specific brand and or foam cushion setup that's just like, oh, these are the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Everybody's got those ones. I'm going to buy a few more bottles, and then I'm going to be buying – on a buying hiatus, I'll stick to decants for a good long while. I don't like Nike. They're either too narrow or too wide for my feet. I'm I'm all Adidas. See, there you go. Everybody's got that specific fit. Like, there's probably your newest pair of Ultra Boost, probably the greatest thing you've ever put on your feet. Fragrance Fraternity, good to see you popping in from Denver. Working out here this week. Bought Aqua de Joe Absolute and Invictus Victory Elixir with him. Great channel. I appreciate that, Jose. Thank you very much. I like ones, threes, fours, and fives. I'm surprised you didn't say twos because you were rocking twos when I was with you a few weeks ago. So you like you like the the originals. You like the first five. I'm surprised you left the twos out. You literally only left the twos out. And I saw you in twos. That's kind of one. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, and see, I'm the latter because my that was my childhood. Like late elementary and middle school was the 11s, 12s, 13s, and 14s. You know, that was like uh, fifth grade, I think, was when the 11s came out. I think so. Pretty sure. It was either fifth or sixth grade. I think it was fifth grade. Yeah. So the 12s came out in sixth grade. Yeah. So the 11s came out in fifth grade. So that was during, that was around Space Jam when that came out because we got Space Jam 11s. Uh, all of that. So that was like, it's kind of like a programming from your childhood. There's that certain section when you were a kid that all that particular stuff's just so important to you and certain things stick. And to this day, 11s, 12s, 13s, and 14s are the dopest sneakers of all time to me. The coolest looking silhouettes. I give me all of them. I'll take them all. I can't take them all, but I'd love to have them all. If I if money was not an issue and I had millions of dollars, 
I'd have a sneaker room with every color ever of the 11s, 12s, 13s, and 14s. I would. And I'd have every foam. I love foams, too. I, I only have two pairs of foams, but foams are crazy expensive. Uh, but I would have loads of foam posits, too. I don't have any easy slides. I have two pair of Yeezy 350 boosts, V2s. I got the Sesames and, uh, and the Beluga 2.0s. That's the only two I got. The questions are dope. I've had several pairs of questions over the years. I have a low-top gray pair from 07. Insoles falling apart on the inside of them, but the shoe's intact. That's back when they still had real hexalite in them. And the insoles had those thick crash pads. They're crazy comfortable. Um, that's before they took the hexalite out of the questions. Because now it just, they look like it. They got those little windows that look like hexalite, but they don't have the actual hexalite pods. I got some a pair from some of the last releases. And then I had the low top navy blue suede toe when I was in ninth grade. I had those. And then I had the all black with the gold mid tops. I've had those. I had the pearlized blue toe mid tops. I think that's it for questions. I've had two mids and two lows and currently only have the one pair of lo gray lows. They're old too. Elysium rocking the Zebra 350s. I always wanted the damn Zebra 350s too. And the frozen yellows. I think those, I like high vis yellow. No secret there. So of course I always wanted those. Men's fragrance for a groom. Green, Irish, tweed, or Aventus come to mind immediately. Special fragrances for a special occasion that are utmost high quality and masculine. Let her know she's marrying the man, not a man, the man. Those come to mind immediately for me. It sounds cliched to pick those, but there's a reason they sound cliched because it's great choices. Literally just bought my son-in-law a 50 ml of Creed Aventus. We married my stepdaughter two weeks ago. Made sure he got it before they went say their vows to say so he could wear it because I knew he was going to want to wear it. <clears throat> on a wedding day. Yep, that's I gave mine. Double nickels raw. She's speaking sneaker language, man. Love it. I'm I'm just, look, before I wanted to do a sneaker channel uh fragrance channel, I wanted to do a sneaker channel. Cuz I used to have a lot more shoes than I have now. But I, remember, uh Nightwing Wear Testers, that's my favorite channel. I've been watching Chris for you know, since the beginning. 12 years or something like that, 13 years I've been watching Chris. And he was my original inspiration and want to do content. But it got to a point to where fragrance just made even more sense for me because it was like I'm probably more passionate about that than I actually am about sneakers. So it just over time, as the Internet community for fragrance started to grow and evolve, it was like, well, this, this makes more sense. If I'm going to make, make content, I should do this. And I still do a little bit of sneaker content. I've done some on here, Train and Chew reviews, but on my other channel, I do a little bit of sneaker content here and there. Um, but that's all the things that I'm into is shit that's not important to a lot of people. Hats, sneakers, and fragrances. That's my three, you know, wastes of money is how you can look at it. Because we don't, I don't need the abundance I have. Kicks Griffey, you probably have loads of sneakers and fragrances and hats and all that. Because normally if you're in the sneakers, you got a pretty sizable hat collection. You might not have five or 600 like I do, but you might have 50 hats or something, you know. Normally, they kind of go hand in hand. Speaking of shoes, how's the feel of cologne? I couldn't tell you. Never tried them. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Rose fragrance would be great, even though I hate rose. Hmm. Yeah, I got the all blacks. It was like, so I have uh, the triple black Ultra Boost 21. I'm assuming you have the newest, the Ultra Boost lights. I'm assuming those are the ones you have. 96. Yeah, so that's fifth grade. That's fifth grade. I was 11. Yeah, it was fifth grade when those came out. All these Jordan MVPs I've been seeing. I don't I don't buy any of those hybrid ones, six rings and true flights and all that stuff. I just go with the signature sig signature sneakers. Now, I do like the Jordan Team 1 because my first pair of Jordans ever was black and white Team 1s. So I have a soft spot for those. I rebought those recently. The white and Carolina blue and the black and white. This is the third time I buy the black and white ones. My third pair in my life. What are those shoes called? Marvin the Martian pumps from the 90s and I'd be happy. Damn it. You just earned a lifetime subscriber. Well, yay me. I appreciate that, Levi. Thank you, man. 
I don't have any of those. They are comfortable. I've tried some on before, but I don't own any of them. I see them all the time when people at the gym. Question lows and up-tempo 96s. So I have three pairs of up-tempo, more up-tempo 96s I bought recently. Got the Iron Ore colorway. I have um, the Cobalt Bliss and then a women's colorway that's white, black tongue, and they're pink and high-vis yellow outlines on, on air. It's it's high-vis yellow outline, and it goes in the pink outline on the back. It's a women's color. I, like, I don't give a shit. Those are amazing. I haven't wore those yet. That's the only pair I haven't wore of the three. I got them recently. Uh, TLTG15. It's not an affiliate code, but it'll save you 15% nonetheless. Muhammad made it for me a while back. It's good stuff, Rick. I'm actually wearing five sprays. I gave it an eight out of ten. Backseat of car in Philly like 11 years ago. My friend from China pointed out I wasn't even paying attention. and was mad he couldn't pull his phone out in time. Damn, that sucks. You mean the uh, president of operations at Reebok, Allen Iverson? Shout outs to Shaq for putting AI in that position. And walk down the damn aisle. That's what I do. Sleep night, we most, most honest shoe tubers in the game. I love Chris and Jody. I love that Jody ended up coming in the picture over the last several years, too. Ultra Boost. Oh, the 1.0 DNAs. Yeah, those are crazy, crazy, crazy comfortable. That's a re-release re of the originals. If your house was on fire, what 10 fragrances you taking and why? If it's on fire, you don't have time to pick. You just run to a section, basically, and just scoop with the arm. Some shit's going to fall, but you take what you can. I'm probably going to run to a designer shelf. I'll probably like run, see where the Zaharoffs are right here. I'll probably run to this shelf. And just try to like grab a few from right there, put them in my arm. Spice bombs and shit like that are right below it. Probably just like grab a few things right there, like slot it, and I'd probably end up with like some Armani's, different things from Armani, some Zaharoffs, and uh, probably a couple of spice bomb flankers. Probably all I'd be able to grab. Because that on fire thing, the more I've thought of it over time, it's like you're not gonna be able to go. Hmm, look at this. Walk over here and be like, I'm, I don't want to not have that. Shit's on fire, right? Jordan Jumpman Pro, get a pass. Pro Quicks, too. I think the Pro Quicks get a pass. But I had the Jumpman Pro. I've had a couple of pairs of the Jumpman Pro. I had the black and red ones, the original colorway. I had the white black suede with the gold. The re-release of those. I had the all white and black with the red re-release. I had the gray suede with orange stitching. Um, I had the white, black, yellow bumblebees, they were called, because I love the Jumpman Pro. I had a few pairs of those. Telling the truth, Ross, I'm ashamed I have an airport hanger that's supposed to fit six cars filled with shoes, and I'm an 80s baby. Not my fault. <laughs> I believe it, man. I think so. It's on the fresher side of things. Uh, the clear wood note offers this kind of airy, soft woody tone. It's definitely on the musky side, but it's still kind of breezy, watery, aquatic, like a freshwater aquatic kind of smell. Very safe. Very, very safe. What are some throwback nostalgic fragrances you recommend from the 2000s? Polo Blue. I don't care how long people say it lasts. The original Polo Blue. That's one of the best smelling fresh fragrances ever. The original Polo Blue. Um, Polo Black and Polo Double Black. Again, I don't care what people say they last. Amazing. One's mango heavy, one's mango and coffee heavy. I wish they would put a new flanker out for Polo Black. But those come to mind. I mean, the Polo fragrances are the early 2000s to me. A lot. I couldn't, I can't put a number on that right now. A lot. One million dollars. Exactly. A lot. I spend a lot of money on fragrances every year. It just gets worse every year. I do. But this is what I do. I review fragrances. I talk about fragrances. I constantly try to get the newer stuff that interests me. Um, a lot. I get a lot of things that I get requested, things that I, I know you guys are going to want to hear about. Um, yeah, that's basically what it comes down to. It's reinvesting in the channel. That's how you got to look at it. And then you keep them for reference because you never know when it's going to come up on a topic, when it's a good talking point. That's the downside. You got to keep them. You don't have to keep them, but if you want to have reference points in the future, you got to keep them. Where was I? 
Uh, which one? The EDT or the EDP? Because they're a bit different. Looking for a sweet, fresh fragrance for spring and summer. Any recommendations? Hmm. For me, this might sound a little odd to you, but One Million Parfum was sweet and oddly fresh to me. Um, I like the creaminess of the tuberose. gives a bit of a beachy feel, and it's got that kind of bubblegummy, spicy One Million DNA. Really? I think it's great. To me, 19 degree. I think it's such a good twist. I think it's the best fragrance. Damn. I mean, teach their own. I mean, you and I don't align on everything. It's right here. It's literally right here. I've never put it on the shelf. I just keep it right there just in case I want to pull it and smell it. I think it's the best fragrance. Smoky yet fresh and watery. That blackberry accords really good, or black raspberry, as it's called. This is a good one. This is a really good I I think, anyways, to me it is. Sweet and spicy, something one million. Have you ever tried oud flowers? I have not. I have not. I mean, Royal L1212 Blanc for a sweet, fresh spring fragrance, spring and summer fragrance. So, guys, I just realized we hit the hour and a half mark. I do need to go eat. It's 7 o'clock already. Damn. Um, I am behind on my eating schedule. I have some content to do and so on. Uh, but I appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me for a bit. I really do. It's always great to get to talk to you guys, talk fragrance. I'm always up for talking sneakers. I'm always up for talking wrestling, hats. It's all the things that interest me most. So you know, I'm always game for these conversations. So I appreciate the, the conversation. I really do. But... This is solid. I don't think it's a must. I think it's a must try if you like vanilla, though. It's worth a sample. It's totally worth a sample. Eight out of ten. Woodery. Wo woodery. Woody, powdery. That's what I was trying to say. I kind of combined them. Woody, powdery, vanilla with a nice spicy tone. A little bit of fruitiness early, but it kind of fades quickly. It's the dates. It doesn't stay for a long time. But uh, And a touch of spice. The cinnamon never overtakes it. It doesn't really warm it up much, but present that is the nice spicy tone that you get from this one performance seems like it's not going to be an issue it's still pumping off of my skin i've had it on for a little over an hour now and it's still pumping pretty good so projection is not even close to calming down yet before it settles into whatever the sea is going to be but typically sphinx sphinx has some really good performance uh high concentrations i don't know exactly what it is i know they're above 25 percent because that's where you hit pure parfum they're extract to parfum which is pure parfum so uh, definitely check them down in the link below. It is a 15% off code. It is not an affiliate code or link. I do not earn any kickback, but it did send the fragrance my way. But the thoughts I give you, no matter what fragrance and what video, is what I genuinely think. Always has been, always will be. Anybody that doesn't think that's the case, please don't come back to my channel because I don't have time for your nonsense. So, But for the rest of you, I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me. Make sure to like this stream on your way out. Check out today's video if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a good one.